Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I had hoped against hope that I would not have to have this particular press conference um, in which I am going to cancel some regular season games. We worked hard to avoid an outcome that's bad for our fans, bad for our players, and bad for our clubs. I want to assure our fans that our failure to reach an agreement was not due to a lack of effort by either party. The players came here for nine days, they worked hard, they tried to make a deal, and I appreciate their effort. Our committee of club representatives committed to the process. They offered compromise after compromise and hung in past the deadline to make sure that we exhausted every possibility of reaching an agreement before the cancellation of games. So far, the parties have failed to achieve their mutual goal of reaching an agreement. The unfortunate thing, maybe the most unfortunate thing, is that agreement, the one we've offered to our players, ha offered huge benefits for our fans and for our players. We have listened to the Players Association throughout the process. A primary goal of the Players Association has been to increase pay, pay for younger players. I said in Orlando, and I'll say it again, we agree and share that goal. We offered to raise the minimum salary to $700,000, an increase of $130,000 from last year. We offered to create an annual bonus pool of $30 million for our very best young players. In total, we're offering nearly a 33% raise to almost two-thirds of Major League players, and we're adding more than $100 million annually in additional compensation for this younger player group. The proposal also addressed player and fan concerns about issues like service time and competition. Baseball would, for the first time, have a draft lottery, the most aggressive lottery in professional sports. Also, for the first time ever, we agreed to an incentive system to encourage clubs to promote top prospects on opening day. We also proposed that the first and second place finishers in Rookie of the Year voting in each league would receive a full year of service no matter how long they were in the major leagues. The MLBPA asked us to make free agency more robust. For the first time ever, we agreed to eliminate draft pick compensation, a change that the MLBPA has sought for decades. On the competitive balance tax, we offered a significantly larger first year increase than in the last two agreements, bearing in mind that the competitive balance tax is the only mechanism in our agreement that protects some semblance of a level playing field among the clubs. The international draft would have more fairly allocated talent among the clubs and reduced abuses in some international markets. We also listened to our fans. The expanded playoffs would bring the excitement of meaningful September baseball and postseason baseball to fans in more markets. While we preferred the 14-team format, when the format became a significant obstacle, we listened to the players' concerns and offered a compromise by accepting the 12-team format. Finally, we offered a procedural agreement that would allow for the timely implementation of sorely needed rules like the pitch timer and the elimination of shifts to improve the entertainment value of the game on the field and we agreed to the universal DH. So what's next? The calendar dictates that we're not going to be able to play the first two series of the regular season and those games are officially canceled. We're prepared to continue negotiations. We've been informed that the MLBPA is headed back to New York, meaning that no agreement is possible until at least Thursday. As such, Camps could not meaningfully operate until at least March 8th, leaving only 23 days before the scheduled opening day. The clubs 
and our owners fully understand just how important it is to our millions of fans that we get the game on the field as soon as possible. To that end, we want to bargain and we want an agreement with the Players Association as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.